whites playing to them. Please have any small children cover their ears. In fact, you should probably cover your own too. Watch this. For a long time, we've been fighting the fight for the dreamers. My colleagues. revolution always consumes itself. Now, why were those people so mad at Pelosi? Well, they're furious that she's negotiating with the president to protect DACA beneficiaries from being deported. Instead, they want a total and immediate amnesty for all 11 million, maybe 15 million, no one really knows, illegal immigrants currently in this country. Avon Seha is an illegal immigrant. He's the founder of Undocumedia. He joins us tonight. Avon, thanks for coming on. Uh, thank you for having me, Tucker. I am undocumented, a DACA beneficiary, and actually born a crime uh, when I was immigrating here at nine months old. Huh. So I guess what I find so striking about that video and about a lot of other things that I've seen in the past few weeks is the lack of gratitude and the hostility from people who are really getting a pretty good deal from the United States, apparently. People who are here illegally, breaking the U.S. law, benefiting in a lot of ways from U.S. society, which is the richest in the world, the most orderly, the cleanest, the fairest and yet seem hostile toward the United States. I never hear a single person say, you know what, thank you. Why not, I wonder? I, I believe that undocumented immigrants, DACA recipients, are simply reacting uh, to what's continued being, continued to be done over years, and that is they're talking about us, but they're not talking with us. They are not including us in the conversations, and this is something that's going to be addressed. Both parties will be held accountable. Uh, people uh, have something to refer to, records, uh, to under indicate how promising these agreements can be, and that's voting record. We're gonna be holding people on both sides of the party who at some point may have voted against us, and that's all we have. That's the only premise whoa, we have whoa, whoa, for whoa, how wait, we will Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, so, so, so then, you're issuing a threat, and I wanna understand what that threat means. You're saying as an illegal here, you're not, you're not a U.S. citizen. You're saying you and other non-U.S. citizens are gonna hold U.S. citizens accountable for not being nice enough to non-U.S. citizens? Is that what you're saying? What I'm saying is that these elected officials are there to represent all constituents, including undocumented immigrants that live in these communities. And although we do not vote them in directly, we do take great part in our community and also ask to be represented. We are paying taxes, we are contributing to the community, and we just ask for representation. No, no, what you just, and by the way, I've always been very pro-immigrant and am in some ways still, and, and pro-immigration actually. You're making me very anti-immigration by what you're saying right now because of its tone, but also because of the threat you just issued to people who don't see it your way. You're not a U.S. citizen. The U.S. government exists to serve the needs and protect the needs of U.S. citizens. It does not exist to protect the needs of non-U.S. citizens. Do you see the distinction? I think all countries are that way. All of them. I also understand, do you understand, uh, you know, taxation without representation, something that this found, country was founded on? I believe we are paying taxes. I believe we deserve to be represented. I'm not issuing any threat other than we are going to go ahead and no longer allow people to make agreements that jeopardize our community behind our back. We want to be protected. We want to have relief that includes our parents, our brothers, our uncles, who don't fit the typical dreamer narrative, per se. But why do you have a right to demand anything? I mean, if I should, and by the way, let me just be really clear, for the fifth time, I'm sympathetic to a lot of the DACA people because they didn't choose to come here illegally. But it, I'm more sympathetic to American citizens because I am one, and I have something in common with them because they're Americans too. And so I don't understand on what grounds you make these demands. If I show up in someone else's country and say, you know what, I demand to have a voice in the political system here, I demand benefits, I demand respect, They'd say, buzz off, pal, leave. Like, you have no position from which to demand those things. Do you see what I mean? 